So if it, the key right here with the under 250 and you qualify uh -huh. on that side of that, this is separate from public education, not taking money away. Your kid, you did go enroll. I'm not sure how you would do it at that poverty level because you're only going to get your grant award, which wouldn't cover it, but a fraction of the tuition that the least you have to pay for. But there is a way to do it. So, so here's how that would work. You would have a key grant. You would have to go to a qualified school. You would have to, there is a vendor that would oversee it. Actually, the governor has already contracted with a vendor. And so they approve it and they say, okay, you want to go to collegiate. Now, collegiate would be the most expensive school in Wichita. There are other schools that are more economical that are fantastic. And there's a variety of those. You could go to a micro school that would probably cost the $5,000 or less to do that. Or you could homeschool and have all of that covered, All not obviously a teacher, but at least the materials. So you would apply and those would be approved and you would use it. Now, there is one other program, the Tax Credit Scholarship Program for low-income students, and that maximum amount is 8,000 if you're under 185% federal poverty level. And we have a school in Wichita with all minority students, 110, and all of them, except for two, I believe, use the, uh, the tax credit for low-income students through an a, a, a SGO. And so those credits are used and paid for that school. So you as a parent have that opportunity to decide, what do I want to do? But this is not meant to pay for an, an entire expensive uh, education. It's, it's meant to give you choices. That's what it's I meant to do. I can tell from the conversation.